dear friends once again welcome to my youtube channel geo technical and consultancy tips today i will be telling you all something about joshi mat sinking soil subsidence land subsidence its current status views and reviews suggestive remedies now in the opening slide of my powerpoint presentation you all can see cracked ruptured roads on left hand side and cracked buildings on right hand side developing cracks in their walls now chamoli was carved as a separate revenue district in 1960 out of the erstwhile garhwal district and lies in the central himalayas joshimat at an altitude of 1890 meters is a town in the garhwal himalayas atkins had first written about joshimat's location on landslide debris in the himalayan gazetteer in 1886 even the mishra committee in its report in 1976 had written about its location on an old subsidence zone although the mishra commission headed by shri mc mishra of uttar pradesh in 1976 had recommended a total ban on heavy construction in the area around joshimat now why the joshimat's well foundations are so vulnerable the three principal factors are it was developed on the debris of a landslide triggered by an earthquake more than a century ago it lies in seismic zone 5 which is more prone to earthquakes besides gradual weathering water percolation which reduces the cohesive strength of the rocks over time is a recurring phenomena evidence the of joshimat may be improper water drainage resulting in increase in ground seepage of water from surface on surface and through pogenic activities having blocked the natural water drainage systems forcing water to find new drainage routes in turn this seepage has reduced the shear strength of the overburdened soil resulting in unstable structures <laughs> now other than these two factors extreme weather events is probably another major reason for this current vulnerability of joshimat town because of the flood events of june 2013 and the flash floods in the rishi ganga and dhauli ganga rivers in february 2021 which had an adverse impact on the landslide zone with true erosion and sliding along ravi gram nala and the nau ganga nala this is being referred to also to a glacial lake burst that caused this flood huge volume of debris laden water brought down by the dhauli ganga river during the flood event of february 2021 has also aggravated this problem on the left bank of alagnanda downstream of its confluence with dhauli ganga river at vishnu prayag the landslide zone was further weakened when joshimat recorded 190 mm of rainfall in 24 hours on october 17 2021 all this and even going down of the himalayan rivers has adversely impacted the stability of the slope on which joshimat town is situated The impact of extreme rainfall events is also visible in the latest satellite data which shows that mountain streams have expanded their channels and changed course thereby inducing more slope instability in the already fragile belt. <laughs> Now its location topography and geology. Joshimat is situated in the middle slopes of a hill bounded by the Karamanasa and Dhaknala streams on the west and east and Dhauli Ganga and Alaknanda rivers on the south and the north. Its geology is the ecotectonic and geomorphic factors coupled with meteorological characteristics render joshimat region highly vulnerable to subsidence it also falls in seismic zone 5 of the seismic zonation map of india and has in the past witnessed several earthquakes of magnitude of less than 5 on the richter scale experts also say that the other cause of this kind of land soil subsidence is because of joshimat's proximity to the vikrita thrust a tectonic fault line main central thrust and pandukeshwar thrust which brings the town under the impact zone of great earth tectonic activity on mct that is main central thrust and can even induce more further landslides in future joshimat being on a fault line and close to another two makes it highly vulnerable to sinking because of tectonic activity uttarakhand state disaster management authority study has already said that the town is located in an area prone to landslides and it was in the past reported by 1976 mishra commission also the area around joshimat town is covered with thick layer of overburdened material large boulders of gneisses and fragments of basics and schistose rocks are embedded in gray colored silty sandy matrix this makes the town highly vulnerable to sinking because 
द प्रेजेंस ऑफ हार्ड रॉक ऑन विच द स्ट्रक्चर्स कैन बी सेफली फाउंडेड ऑन इज नॉट बींग मेट इन दिस टाउन ऑफ जोशी मठ द यू एस डी एम ए स्टडी सेट दैट द पेरिनियल स्ट्रीम्स अप्रिशिएबल स्नो इन द अपर रिचेज एंड हाईली वेदर नीसेज रॉक्स विद लो कोजिव करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑल्सो मेक्स दिस एरिया प्रोन टू लैंड स्लाइड्स एज पर वादिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हिमालयन जियोलॉजी देहरादून द सब्सिडेंस द सिंकिंग ऑफ द लैंड इन द रीजन हैड बिगन लॉन्ग बैक एंड इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन द टाउन हैज बीन बिल्ड ओवर द डेबरी ऑफ एन ओल्ड लैंड स्लाइड इट ऑल्सो फॉल्स इन सीस्मिक जोन फाइव विच इज द हाइस्ट कैटेगरी रिस्क टू एन अर्थक्वेक एंड इज इक्वली ससेप्टेबल टू लैंड स्लाइड्स this institute the premier institute in its study of 2021 also said that the extreme vulnerability of the region and its geological foundation is always under question not only is the area tectonically most active due to continued subduction of the indian plate under the eurasian plate it is increasingly becoming unstable is struggling to sustain the increasing pressure of human activities <laughs> now the experts opinion is that Joshimat city has been built on an ancient landslide material that is it rests on a deposit of sand and stone not rock which doesn't have high load bearing capacity for the structures to be built upon this makes the area extremely vulnerable to ever burgeoning infrastructure requirement and population growth reports have pointed out that subsidence in Joshimat might have been triggered by the reactivation of a geographic fault defined as a fracture or zone of fractures between the two blocks of rock Where the Indian plate has pushed under the Eurasian plate along the Himalayas. Now these are the pictures of some damaged habitat images, which have been taken from the media, from the different websites. <coughs> you can see <coughs> cracked open <coughs> grounds and lands. Ah, uh, the third image in the first row is of a wall collapsing. the fourth image is of a temple structure settling down and subsiding in the ground fifth and sixth images are the cracks being developed in the walls sixth is the cracks being developed in the wall as well as the floors of the building now you can see the cracks developing near the windows in the first image now the earthen wall being ruptured cracked and tilted in the second image the third one is the wide open crack being developed at the junction of the two walls fourth is the collapse of the retaining wall fifth is the split opening of the of the road sixth is the split opening of the land ground now you can see differentially settled tilted buildings and cracked split open roads in the first image what is what has happened a building has settled differentially and then tilted and leaned towards the other building the second image is the cracked split opening of the roads now the expert agencies like national disaster management authority national institute of disaster management geological survey of india indian institute of technology roorkee Wadi Institute of Himalayan Geology, National Institute of Hydrology, and Central Building Research Institute are assisting the state government of Uttarakhand in preparing short, medium, and long-term plans for Joshimat. Joshimat has now been declared as disaster-prone, with ever-increasing risk of landslides and subsidence. Now, what can we do? The suggestions and the remedial measures. Number one is safe evacuation of the people from the affected areas. Number two is already seen in tilted and cracked buildings be demolished. Number three, a seismic microzonation study of the town should be done. Number four is the replanning of its drainage system and rainwater outlets. Number fifth is assessment of the prevailing present rock in the town and its strength. Number six is the assessing of safe bearing capacity being done by geotechnical experts. Number seven is geophysical studies of the region. Number eight is the retrofitting of mild damaged buildings. Number nine is hydrological study of existing aquifers and known water sources be done. After this study, one should decide that what should be done to live there for habitation of general public. I hope you all know you must have got a better preview of the current situation of Joshima Town sinking. keep on watching subscribing 
टू माई YouTube चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच